Desire. Quickness. Toughness. He was the manster, Randy White. He missed only one game in 14 years after retiring in 1988 and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1994. No one outworked Randy White on the practice field or on Sundays. Today, it's no different. At 54, he's a restaurant entrepreneur. Hey, we're here today in Frisco, Texas at uh, Randy White's Hall of Fame Barbecue. One of the things I've involved with since I've retired from football, so come on in and we'll give you a little tour. I'm doing good. I'm giving a tour today, so y'all get to be a part of the tour. We have a few uh, few booths over here. This one here is dedicated to uh, to Bob Lilly. Are y'all enjoying your seat today yes. with Mr. Lilly's table? Yes. All right. How you doing? Good to see you, Jimmy. And here, this is the Walt Garrison booth, Mr. Walt Garrison. And over here, we have Mr. Roger Staubach. See, these guys were probably quarterbacks in high school. We all quarterbacks? Not hardly. Big fans, though. Ah, big fans, though, see? Randy still loves the game and stays close to it by taping segments for the Cowboys' pregame shows in his restaurant. The best defense the Cowboys might have this week is their offense. I encourage everybody to make a lot of noise on Sunday. In addition to football, Randy has had a passion for martial arts over the last 20 years. Today, he'll work on his skills anywhere, anytime. When I played football, they changed the rules from uh, the way the offensive linemen, they start allowing them to use their arms, reach out and grab and hold. And all the techniques that we had been taught since little kids, none of them worked anymore. I got to meet Mr. Larry Hartzell, who is a master in the martial arts. He was one of Bruce Lee's uh, original students. Uh, and I had the opportunity to start training with Larry and uh, really brought me along and helped me improve my football game through integrating the martial arts into football. You know, I keep myself busy. Fish, do martial arts. I also make custom knives in my spare time. So I, uh, I stay too busy, sometimes too busy to do my hobbies and that's too busy. Randy is never too busy to pursue his passion. This is Don Smirk. He used to play with the Dallas Cowboys defensive line when, when I was here. Like, come here. Now, what did I tell you? Easy. 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 Oh. So this is some of the drills that we started working with to develop uh, sensitivity and awareness of where our hands uh, were. One, two, three. Elbow down. And it was such an advantage to us as football players because it on the football field it equated to you know you being more successful in rushing the pass or getting blockers off. A player that had never done this before could spend two hours with us and walk away with something that he could use on the field almost immediately that would make him a better more effective football player. Sometimes we train four hours and he just he keeps going. When I'm working with the martial arts, you know, my mind is here. It's not on anything else. I'm working my mind. I'm working my coordination. I'm working my cardiovascular. Boy, that's a heck of a workout. I just enjoy it. And it's something that's a part of my life. And uh, hopefully, as long as I live, it will be a part of my life. Being 54 years old, how come I'm still doing this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Cornelius Bennett was on the 1990s All-Decade team. He played in five Super Bowls, four with the Bills, and one with the Falcons. In his 14 seasons, this All-Pro linebacker was always around the ball. At 41, he's enjoying time around his family. We're just enjoying life. I wanted my kids to have it 100 times better than I had growing up, and I've been able to um, provide that for them, and I just want to continue that. I do a lot of charity stuff. I, I enjoy doing charity work. I've been so blessed in my life. 